Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Friday. No, 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 not Friday. Free Software Fridays. Okay, so basically, I'm going to show you a piece of software that I use in YouTube and in my everyday life um, that makes my job easier, that makes YouTube easier, that makes having the piece of software fun. The great thing about this is it's free. If you've never had um, any kind of cool 3D software, Blender 3D, okay, this off, it's a great site. You need to go there, you need to download it, because even if you, you don't ever use it, you need to at least try it one time, all right? This is not paid, this is not sponsored, this is me speaking on behalf of something that I've used for a really long time. What is this, close that. Well, I can close that too. Nobody wants to see that. This is Blender 3D. <clears throat> and the brand new 2.82a version is out. There's over 20 fixes, but I, like you can read it. You can read it if you want. Um, I'm gonna go download it because I have not gotten the new version. I don't know what's changed. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. And download. There we go. <clears throat> you can change the version that you want, stuff like that but it's fine. I'm going to just save it to my desktop real quick. Um, my desktop does back up to cloud, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm gonna, I will pause it while the download happens. Hang tight. There we go. So it is finished. All I gotta do is click on that little download over here on the, the side and it'll pop up. Windows protected mode, Windows Defender. Don't run more information. Run it anyway, because I know who it is. I accept the license. Uh, by the way, this falls under GNU license, which is general public license. You don't have to pay for the software. If you want to change it and send it on to something else, you can do so. You can change the source code if you want to. You can help out Blender because it's created by the community. It's like everyone can contribute to this. You can make games. You can make 3D models. You can make amazing realistic renders. You can do video editing software, you can do animations, uh, rigging, like to change. Uh, when you make an animation for um, Roblox, you can actually do it inside Blender and then export it to um, Roblox. Same thing with the renders. And you can import into Blender. There's so much you can do. Um, the main reason I use it nowadays is for video editing, and I will get into that in just a second. So let's go next, next, install everything. Awesome. And I will pause while it does the install. Maybe. Did that pause? No, it did not pause. No. Install is complete. We're going to hit finish. It should start. Uh, if it does not, just go to start, Blender. And I'm actually going to pin this to my start button. Right down here. Come on, come on, boom. There we go. Pin to taskbar. And um, select with the left or select with the right. If you're used to the old school, you'll usually select it with the right. I'm gonna keep it with new. I wanna, I wanna do everything default like it, the, the new program is set to. That way I can get used to it. Uh, you can also change your themes to like light, dark. Everybody seems to like dark now, so we'll go there. Uh, new general file, 2D animation, sculpting, VFX, I don't know what that is. Video editing, manual. If you just hit escape, it'll bring you into the default view. Whoa, that's weird. Um, this right here is Blender 3D. Now, you don't need a high-end graphics card, but I do highly recommend it if you're going to do animations uh, or if you do rendering through, um, through Blender. Um, right off the bat, let's just show you how to edit stuff. So if you hit tab, that takes you into an edit mode where you can click the uh, the vertices, vertex, vertexes, vertices. Um, you can also change what you select. So like I could select the edges if I wanted to, or I could select the face, just like that. And by using these little things up here at the top, um, say I wanted that one, I can hit G to grab it, and it'll grab that vertice. I can move it around if I want. Or um, if I use the tools like, B, which should be a selection box, I can grab this entire thing. Now, if I wanted to extrude, kind of like pushing Play-Doh through um, one of the little dies 
or pushing Play-Doh through um, like a whole bunch of the little hole thingies. That's called extruding. You can press E to extrude. So extrude, 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 extrude. Now if you press R, you can rotate. Now see how it's kind of like weirdly loose? You can actually hit, while, while you're in rotate mode, you can hit X to only rotate on the X axis. You can hit Y to rotate on the Y axis or Z to only rotate on the Z axis. Very cool. Uh, I'm gonna hit Control Z. Undoes. Now, beyond um, that, if you hit Tab, you go back into the object mode. Object mode kind of shows you where the center of gravity is, where the center of the object is. Okay, and the object center will change if you're in edit mode. So pay attention to this. So, for example, if I selected everything and grabbed it, the center of the object is still over here. It's technically no longer there. So, um, there's a lot of tutorials. I highly recommend you go check out the tutorials on, on YouTube. There's a ton of Blender tutorials. Even my intro that you saw is from a tutorial on how to make text out of blocks, uh, a block of wood, where it looks like it's chipping away. That was a tutorial. I walked through it and made it myself. That was a long time ago. But um, there are a ton of intro templates. So if you wanted to make an intro for your YouTube channel, you could go download one of these free templates, put it into Blender, render it how you wanted, and then put music to it. So there's tons of stuff you can do. Um, in object mode, just like this, you can grab stuff, move it around, and it stays where the center is in the same. You're not editing the mesh anymore. That's, that's what that's called. If you wanted to add something, you just hit uh, space bar. No, you hit... Whoa, that's weird. Hit A? Nope, Shift A. There we go. So if you wanted to add something into the scene, it's going to be, uh, it's going to appear wherever this little uh, cursor thing is. This is your 3D cursor. So can, uh, Shift A. I can do add curves, surfaces, metaball. These things are kind of cool. All right, so let's say I had a second one, duplicate. They, uh, they like, <laughs> yeah, the, the meta ball is kind of cool. So, um, let's say I wanted this to be smoother. I can't do it with that one, so I don't want to delete. Control Z and Control Z that. There we go. So now it's back to the center. Uh, I'm just going to hit X, delete, and let's do Shift A. I'm going to add a sphere. Maybe. Where's this regular sphere? Mesh. Sphere, UV sphere. Okay, so see how the UV sphere doesn't look like nice? There is a smooth, oh gosh. Where's smooth? Oh, it's over here now. Nice. Um, maybe I'm not in context to what I'm looking for. Where's smooth? We can always add a modifier. No, let's just do that instead. So instead of doing smooth, I'm going to add a modifier and we're going to do subsurface, subdivision surface, sub serif. Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted. Where is. Hmm. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to go watch some more tutorials. Remash, reskin, solidify. Okay. I can't find subsurface. There. Oh, that's deforming smooth. That's not true. That's wrong. Add a different one. Subsurface, solidify, skin. I am going to have to learn all new stuff because this is not what I was looking for. Let's stop with the modeling for a second. You can go learn how to do modeling if you want. Um, right there, up here at the top, these little things, you can do um, straight up modeling. That doesn't give you any kind of like preview. So you, you can't go in between the tabs. Actually, does that not switch in between the tabs? Huh. I guess there's just a different set of layouts and things. I 
that's new. Let's head over to sculpting. So if you're if you're good at like sculpting thingies. Now this doesn't exactly work with an ISO mesh, so let's hit control Z Z Z. Now let's go back over to the modeling. We're going to add subdivisions and on the viewport I'm gonna put it up to four four four. Everything four. Now if I go back over to sculpting. Can I make it more powerful? Let's see. This is to draw, draw clay. Let's do inflate. It's not. It's not powerful enough. Where's the powerful? Ah, strength. I'm gonna turn that up to an eight. Radius. Normal radius. What about just grabbing? Here we go. Hold on, can I make a baby Yoda? Let's try and make a baby Yoda. Oh gosh. <laughs> this poor head. Hold on, where's the smooth option? Smooth? That's blob, where's smooth? Smooth, 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 smooth. I don't know what any of these icons are. Oh gosh. Draw, layer, inflate, blob, crease, smooth. There we go. Let's smooth out his, his head. Poor guy. There we go. Baby Yoda. Kinda. <laughs> Anyhow, you can play with that if you want. Let's go over to UV editing. UV is the the, the mapping. So like um, whenever you have uh, oh Minecraft skins. So you know how you have an image, right? And it goes over the top of like the three D. That, that's a horrible explanation. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go back over to layout. I'm going to hit X, delete that, and then I'm going to use Shift A, add a new mesh. It's just going to be a cube and we'll go back over to UV editing. So, if you look on the right, the UV is, or the mesh is here in 3D world. What a UV is, an image that gets wrapped over the top of that. So if I go in here, I should be able to image new, we're just gonna call this test, hit okay. And can I draw on this? Hmm. Let's see. No, nope, that's not a draw tool. Uh, UV. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to look at this one too. These are annotations. This right here doesn't actually draw on anything. It's for for marking parts of your scene, like. Um, no. Or something like that, and then you know, like circle something over here and be like, uh, delete. Delete. Oh my gosh, I can't spell. There we go. Delete. Please. Uh, don't know what any of this is. Where's my drawing tools? Oh, are these it? Hello. No. Horrible. Horrible code. Why do you not? Oh, texture paint. Hold up. Can I actually paint with this? <laughs> Wait, the uh, text draw radius. There should be a texture up here somewhere. Right? Where's that new texture that I just created? Do I need to save it? Open image, new image, fake user. Save some data block. I don't know what that is. This is all new stuff. Anyhow, here's the idea. You would take an image, you would place it over here, or you would draw it over here, 
Or you could do... I'm pointing at the screen like you can tell where it's at. Let's do, let's do this. Okay, so over here, <clears throat> you can you can unwrap and, and place the image and draw directly, or you can place an image on here and move the um, the little pieces around, move the vertices around to the points that you want to unwrap the image onto the object. <clears throat> that is how you get an image, a UV image, onto an object or get a texture onto an object inside the world. Whenever you do this for um, creating images or creating objects inside Blender to export into Roblox, you can do the same thing, and that's how you texture your objects in world. Uh, let's go over to texture. Let's do shading. What does shading do? Oh gosh. So. I'm not going to get into the shading of this yet because that's a new one for me. Animations. So here's where you can take and you can animate each one of the things. For example, let's select this. I'm going to hit I and I'm going to insert a key location. Note that I'm on frame one down here. Oh gosh, I'm, my face is in the way again. My bad. Come here. Devil in a red dress. What? There we go. Dial 911 on his Kindle? Can, can you dial 911 on a Kindle? I thought a Kindle was for like Amazon for reading books or something like that. I could be wrong. Anyhow, <clears throat> we are on, um, <laughs> we're on frame one, and this is the object that I'm going to select. So I'm going to hit uh, select I. I'm going to insert a location key and a rotation key. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go up to frame 50 or 49. While it's in this position, if I go back up here, click and grab, rotate, and I hit I, insert the current location, insert the current rotation, and for fun, let's hit the current scale. Uh, insert scale. So then we come over to um, frame 100. I'm going to hit grab again. I'm going to rotate and scale. We're going to hit I for insert location, insert rotation, insert scaling. So if we go back over to zero and we hit space. We just animated it. I mean, very simple animation, but animation nonetheless. You can um, go through with rigging and do the same thing. Uh, there are Minecraft where um, you can actually download a Minecraft person, um, Steve, and put your own skin onto him and then put him into this world and animate him so he's like walking through the world. This is a very good place to start. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is all free? You don't have to pay for it. This is like billion dollar software and it's just given to you. Free Software Fridays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm not done. <laughs> so this is a render screen. So whenever I'm inside the layout over here, if you hit F12, you can see what a render will look like. Blender will take and try its best to put everything where it's supposed to be and render an object. Oh gosh, that looks horrible. So if you hit escape, closes that. Um, I'm going to hit zero on my keypad. That'll take me to where the camera is. If you hit one, it's the front view. If you hit three, it's the side view. And if you hit seven, it's the top view. Holding shift will do the opposite. So here's the front. Oh, hold control. Here's the back. Front, back. One, control one. One, control one. Same thing with the sides. Right side, left side. Right side, left side. With seven, top view, bottom view. Top view, bottom view. If you hit five, it goes out of ortho mode. I call it ortho. Oh gosh. So this, is regular 3D view. Everything has a perspective. When you hit five, it goes into what's called ortho view. Everything is flattened to a singular plane. 
it still kind of looks 3D, but it's no distance difference. The bottom right here, this square is the exact same size as this square. There's no perception, depth perception. Hit five. It's very good for working, like if you hit one and then five, right? This is working with scales, so I don't have to worry about the rotation. If you want to reset something, hold Alt and press whatever corresponds. So if it's rotation, it's R. If it's the location, G. Um, if it's scale, S. That's its original position. That's where it started at. Hit five, go out of ortho mode. Ortho mode. <sighs> now, if we hit zero, we should go back to the camera. This is where it's supposed to look at. Let's hit F12. F12. By the way, this is not a tutorial on how to, what in the world? Okay. Did it not render a new image? Okay. I'm a little confused as to why it's not rendering a new image. Hmm. What if I, uh, what if I delete that? Delete, shift A, we're going to add a mesh sphere. Hit F12. Huh, that worked. Strange. It's a little off from where I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Um, let's go into, that's rendering, compositing. Compositing, you can add shaders and you can add vexel, vo uh, vox, voxel, voxel shading. You can also add filters and, um, Radiance, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. I never really got into compositing, but it is a very important part of finished scenes and for effects. Um, again, look at the YouTube down below. Check out all the tutorials that there are online. Very cool software. <laughs> very cool tutorials. Um, scripting. If you've ever wanted to script or program things yourself, it accepts Python. You can program in Python inside Blender 3D to do all kinds of different stuff. If you wanted to make a video game inside here, you can do that. Uh, in fact, hold on, let's go over here. Rendering engine, workbench, cycles, Eevee. Eevee, hmm. that's new to me. Used to is Blender Engine, Game, and Cycles. But this is this is new. So when you work with Cycles renders, you can change it from your CPU to your GPU compute. Um, basically, instead of me using my my processor to do the render, I give it to the graphics card. This is where the graphics card like triumphs over everything else. Right here, uh, let's just let's just play with this for a second. Uh, I'm gonna hit Shift A, add a mesh, add a plane, scale that up, and we're going to actually I'm just gonna scale that hugely. There we go. Grab that on the Z axis. No Z axis. I'm gonna put it just below. And if I look at the side here, grab Z. I can put it right on the bottom. Go back into the camera mode. That way I can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to, oh gosh. I'm going to hit control, no, shift D to duplicate. Rotate on the X axis. I'm gonna type 90, it's exactly 90 degrees. And I'm going to click, grab on the Y axis, pull it back, awesome. Now, if I click this down here, that is the bottom object, it's the bottom plane. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate, rotate on the X axis, no, on the Y axis, type out the word, or type out the number nine zero, and then click, grab, and we're just gonna pull that back. 
So now if I go back into this, I should see the walls in the background. Uh, grab Y, just like that. Now if I hit F12, it should kind of give us some shadows and some background and stuff, maybe. And I'm using the cycles render, so it's much more realistic because it has refraction and it has uh, transparencies. It has a bunch of different stuff that the normal blend doesn't have, that Eevee doesn't have. By the way, it, the reason it's kind of slow is because I'm recording and rendering at the same time. In fact, I should like stop the recording to do the render, but we're just going off uh, 30 minutes of introducing you to Blender 3D, which by the way, did I mention is free? <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. When I first found Blender, my heart just exploded. I was like, yes. Um, one of the first things that I ever bought um, for the computer uh, back whenever it was Windows 95 was um, Simply 3D and it was a 3D rendering software that I bought from Best Buy and it cost me 80 90 bucks For a 14 year old That is not Feasible that, like that's a lot of money for for me as a 14 year old without a job You know just going off of allowance and birthday money. That's that's a huge hit in today's society, in today's world, this is awesome. I want more software like this. I want this to be available to my kids. If they want to go and, and learn how to do 3D, this is it. Blender 3D. So, um, let's go ahead and click on this object. I want to do subsurfacing, but I don't know how. You know what? I don't want to do subsurfacing. In fact, we're going to go into the textures right here. I'm going to hit a new texture, just like that. I'm gonna change this to, can you see the, yeah, you can still see. Um, this right here, the surface, I'm going to change this to glass. And roughness, I'm gonna put that all the way down. I don't want any roughness. Uh, I'm gonna select the floor, do a new texture for it, and it's going to be a diffuse. Roughness about five, that's fine. Color, I'm gonna give it a nice purple color. One of my favorite colors, by the way. This back wall, uh, we're gonna do a new, and we're going to make this a diffuse. Actually, let's make this a reflective. So we're going to do glossy all the way down. And then this one I'm going to click, but I'm not going to do, give it a new texture. I'm going to give it that same material we just did, which was material three. By the way, you can rename them so they're they're easier to name and stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to go in here and change my output from 100% down to 50%. That way we're not wasting too much time on the render. Hit F12. Come on. Now, with a few little clicks and a couple of little things, I made an awesome render. <laughs> so, if you're not convinced yet, I hope I hope that this video has at least like sparked your interest in it. The reason that you can't really see the back is because it's glossy. Um, we didn't really put any kind of lights in the scene. I'm going to grab this light right here. And we're going to put that right in the center of this glass. This is where the ortho comes in really good. Hit render again on that. Hopefully the light comes through. If it doesn't, then we're not going to see anything. Oh, but it does. Look at that. I, I don't like that it's... Oof. It's really diffused though. See all the little dark spots? So let's go let's go like this. Let's go here. We're gonna grab Y axis, put it right out here in front, grab X axis, put it right over here. Kind of normalize it. Hit F twelve again. 
Oh, we're at 30 minutes. I haven't even gotten to video editing software yet. There we go. That's okay. I think I've gotten my point across. You can use Blender 3D to edit your videos, uh, edit your YouTube videos if you want, or you can use it to put a whole bunch of different animated scenes that you make inside Blender together into one huge composited movie. If you've never seen a Blender movie, I highly recommend go over to blender.org, check out their um, all of their uh, showcases and all of their movies that have been created inside Blender 3D. And if that doesn't excite you enough to get into the, the, the Blender mood, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos on free software that you could possibly get for free and hopefully forever. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, if you want, you don't have to. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you very soon. Um, by the way, the end scene that you're about to see, my outro, is actually made using uh, GIMP and Blender. So that's two pieces of software that you've seen now that I use in my videos pretty much all the time. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. True.